Hey, how are you? This is Norm Stockton, and this is the Galleon Cougar MB500, the benchmark of GK's acclaimed MB series of base amps. And um, you know, 500 watts into a 4 ohm load and weighing in at about three pounds. <laughs> it's pretty stinking cool. And um, designed and built in the US. Uh, let me go ahead and quickly walk us through the front and rear panels, and then we'll go control by control, and you can kind of hear what the different controls do. Um, by the way, I always uh, want to invite you to plug in your headphones or um, some speakers because laptop or phone speakers don't do a very good job of reproducing low end, as you probably know. So, okay, here we go. So on the front panel, you, you basically have your input jack. You've got your uh, a pad for attenuating if you've got too much signal coming in or whatever. A tuning mute, your uh, gain. There's a contour, which is a bit of tone shaping. We'll talk about it in a second. Four band EQ. Uh, boost, which is a very cool feature, kind of a GK growl thing. We'll talk about that in a second. And then uh, separate volumes for uh, Master B and Master A, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, on the top panel, by the way, there is a limiter defeat uh, on off. And then you have your power button. On the rear panel, you've got GK's famous uh, great sounding DI with a uh, switchable pre and post EQ thing and a ground lift. A uh, foot switch jack, um, tuner out jack, which works in conjunction with that uh, tuning mute on the front. Um, you have an effects send and return, a headphone out or line out slash chain out, which is another extremely cool feature we'll talk about in a second that's switchable between the two. And then you've got your speak on outputs. All right, so why don't we go ahead and dive in. So you see that I'm plugged into the input and um, I do have the input attenuator switch, that 10 dB pad engaged because um, I'm... I'm definitely going to be doing some things where I'm, I'm uh, taxing the input stages a little bit. And you basically want to do, you know, anytime you have a high output bass or anything like that, or you're doing anything particularly bombastic where it may possibly um, clip at the input stages, then that attenuator kind of makes sure that doesn't happen. So if you're playing an old P bass with, um, you know, passive electronics, that probably doesn't matter. Okay, you can just leave it disengaged. Then you have your tuning mute, which one of the things I love <laughs> is the fact that it's bright as day. And uh, so if you're ever on stage and you're wondering why you're not getting output, you know, uh, that red, you know, sort of the idiot knob definitely lets you know that, oh, you have your tuning mute engaged. But what's cool is that uh, tuning jack on the back that I was talking about, um, that's still activated. And so you can uh, tune between tunes or whatever, okay? Then you have your gain. And this is sort of, I think of it as sort of gain A, which we'll talk about in just a second. But you basically set this for your, um, for your main tone. Works like a standard volume knob. But if you turn that up too high, then it'll it'll start clipping at this stage. So I have mine set to about 10 o'clock. Okay, then you have your contour. And this is basically a bit of additional tone shaping. And what it does, um, it's completely disengaged when it's all the way uh, counterclockwise. And as you engage it, it basically does a little bit of a smiley face EQ. So right, right around 500 hertz, it starts dipping while bringing up the lows and the highs. So check it out. You can hear how it's getting kind of scooped. Let me go ahead and play something, okay? So you're kind of doing a halfway up, all the way up. So it definitely gets that sort of scooped out sound, which it all depends on what kind of stuff you're going for. I'm going to leave it flat for what I'm doing because I'm kind of wanting to run the amp fairly um, right down the middle. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, the four band EQ, by the way, this is the same active four band EQ that is on all of the GK amps. And it goes all the way back to the 800 RB, the legendary thing that started it all out. And um, it still works great. And it's sort of the standard for bass amplification EQ. It's, it's killer. So in terms of the highs, um, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. If you want to have it cranked up, you know. Um, I tend to run mine just about kind of 12 o'clock. So I can still get some of the bright stuff on top. Okay, then you have your, uh, your high mids. So let me turn that down a little bit. So if I scoop it, halfway up, which is actually flat, right? And then cranked. 
So you can really kind of make it bark or do whatever you want to do. I'm going to run mine flat again. Uh, low mids. Let me uh, bring that all the way down. Halfway up. And then all the way up. So it definitely kind of gives it some, some girth on the bottom, right? Okay, then the lows. And I'm going to be careful about this because I don't want to totally blow up my input stage as I'm recording this, obviously. So you can thin it out. I'm going to run mine about flat there as well. Okay, now this boost is basically a proprietary GK thing and it gives it some growl. Now, uh, and it's basically the further up you turn it, the more effect you have. Um, but it also will bring up the, the level. So this master B control uh, volume level will determine your overall volume level when this is engaged. So I've got a foot switch. So now it's engaged. Hear that kind of growl thing? So then I can bring that level down. You know, and I'm, I'm obviously within tight tolerances because I'm not trying to, I'm trying not to distort my, uh, my signal right now. But um, in a real world situation, that growl, you may actually want to go ahead and have that be quite a bit louder than the, you know, the gain that you're setting here so that you can have sort of a, hey, this is the crunchy thing. This is where I'm really laying into it and I want to have some of the line speak or whatever, you know. But anyway, so that ends up being kind of a gain B setting. You hear that? It's raining in Southern California at my studio here in, in Orange County. So if you hear any uh, extraneous noise, that is rain just plummeting down. Does rain plummet? Anyway, um, so then you have your master volume. And so that affects the output level um, when uh, that gain B setting is not activated. Okay, so you can basically set your boost to whatever crunch level and then set your master B to make it, make it whatever volume level you want that sound to have. And then when that's not engaged, uh, this master volume will, will dictate the power of the, uh, the output power of the amp. Okay, again, that limiter switch on the top, basically, if you're really, really pushing some air, it's not a bad idea to have that limiter engaged just to make sure you don't blow stuff up, okay? But otherwise, um, in this case here, I have it off. All right, so in, in terms of the rear panel, you've got your DI, and, and GK DIs always sound great, man. It's good stuff. Uh, but you can um, switch between pre and post EQ so that, in other words, if you're doing something radical EQ wise and you want to necessarily subject your front of house person to that, then uh, you can send them a pre EQ signal. And then there's a ground lift, um, which is very helpful. Your foot switch in jack and then your tuner out jack, again, works with that uh, tuning mute button up front. Okay. Then you have your effects send and return, which is pretty straightforward. And then you have your headphone out or line out uh, slash chain out. That is a cool thing of, for a variety of reasons. Um, when you have it as headphone out, then obviously you can just use this for practicing in your, in your room and then you know take the same amp out on a gig. But in addition, that line out chain out thing, if you're familiar with GK's uh, MBP line of powered enclosures, um, if you run through the chain out, you can have it driving one of their MB, one of the MVP powered enclosures. And it's awesome because you can still power everything from the front. You can control all the controls rather from the front panel of this amp. But the entire 500 watts into four ohms that this box has is driving these cabinets. The MVP has its own power amp. And so you end up having some very serious options in terms of a serious, big, powerful rig or you can just take this for most of your other stuff, you know, so it's, it's very awesome. Uh, check that out for sure. And then you have your speak on outputs for plugging in your, uh, your, your cabinets, but all this in a three pound box that fits in your gig bag. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, legendary GK tone, uh, headroom and, and power for days, uh, you know, punch with portability, some serious features, killer value. I always tell people, don't take my word for it. Go to a GK dealer and check out the MB500 from Galleon Kruger, or you can go to galleon.com for further information, but definitely a very spectacular amp, the Galleon Kruger MB500. Check it out. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Norm Stockton. God bless you. Hope to see you on the road.